in the USA. We will shut down Biden's border disaster, reinstitute our strong remain in Mexico policy, reimpose Title 42, which is right now being decimated by the Biden administration, and strengthen the ICE and Border Patrol patriots. We will again end, and we have no choice, catch and release. We will end chain migration. We will end visa lottery. And we will quickly finish the wall. It can be done in three weeks, which was delayed with two and a half years of lawsuits and other litigation, all by Democrats in Congress. We will stop the Democrat crime wave. We will give our police the power they need and the respect they deserve. We will not take legal protection away from them. They want to take legal protection away from our police. Let them represent themselves. That's not going to happen. We will restore law and order in America. We will hold China accountable for unleashing the virus upon the world. We will lead humanity back to the moon, and the United States will be the first nation to land astronauts on Mars. We're very close to doing it. We will protect innocent life. We will defend our Constitution. We will defend the Second Amendment, which is totally under siege. And we will proudly uphold Judeo-Christian values and principles of our nation's founding. We will restore patriotic education to our schools, and we will teach our children to love their country, honor our history, and to always respect our great American flag. Our MAGA movement, Make America Great Again, is by far the greatest political movement in the history of our country. Nobody can dispute it. Even the fake news doesn't want to talk about it. They can't do it. There's never been a movement like it. And it's also a movement of common sense, and it's a movement of love. There's great love in this movement. Together, we're standing up against some of the most menacing forces. Entrenched interests and vicious opponents are people have ever seen or fought against. Despite great outside powers and dangers, our biggest threat remains the sick, sinister, and evil people from within our own country. There is no threat as dangerous to democracy as they are. Just look at the unselect committee of political hacks and what they're doing to our country while radical left murderers, rapists, and insurrectionists roam free. Nothing happens to them. But no matter how big or powerful these corrupt radicals may be, you must never forget this nation does not belong to them. This nation belongs to you. This is your home. This is your heritage. And your great American liberty is your God-given right. From Akron to Toledo, from Cleveland to Columbus, and from Dayton to right here in Delaware County, you inherit the legacy of generations of Ohio patriots like Neil Armstrong, Annie Oakley, President William McKinley, a man who, by the way, happened to believe, believe strongly in tariffs to protect the workers of our country. Great president, doesn't get enough credit. And the amazing Ulysses S. Grant. That's not bad. They fought battles. They broke barriers. They conquered dangers. They pushed into new frontiers, and they risked everything they had for this beloved nation. It was hardworking patriots like you who built this country, and it is hardworking patriots like you who are going to save our country. We're going to fight for America like no one has ever fought before. We will not let radical left lunatics or rhinos take away from us what has been so brilliantly forged over nearly 250 years. These are sick people who are making our country sick, but we are the doctors and the nurses and the professionals who will fix it and make it better and maybe healthier than ever before. There is no mountain we cannot climb. There is no summit we cannot reach. 
There is no challenge we cannot meet. There is no victory we cannot have. We will not bend. We will not break. We will not yield. We will never give in. We will never give up. We will never, ever back down. As long as we are confident and united, the tyrants we are fighting do not stand a chance of victory because we are Americans, and Americans kneel to God and to God alone. So, my fellow citizens, this incredible journey we are on together has only just begun. It's only just begun. This is a movement like no other. It's only just begun. And it is time to start talking about greatness for our country, not other things that make no sense whatsoever. We want to start talking about our country and greatness again. We are one movement, one people, one family, and one glorious American nation. So with the help of everyone here today and citizens all across our land, we will make America powerful again. We will make America wealthy again. We will make America strong again. We will make America proud again. We will make America safe again. And we will make America great again. Thank you, Ohio. Thank you. Thank you very much.